all of your history lessons this morning, especially as a lot of the kids and the teachers head back to class. Uh, our own Teray Gables hanging out at the Oklahoma History Center this morning. Uh, Teray, uh, what, what are you learning about our history? I know you were pretty excited going down that Oscar list. Well, you know, I learned that uh, my sister's not in here yet, Sean Gables. But, but she will be. She will I'm be. I'm going to be working on that as soon as we get off the air this morning. I think everybody should be memorialized. But behind us, tell us a little bit about the Oklahoma History Center. And this is a spectacular sight. Yeah. Now, you know, we, we looked at the uh, Winnie Mae a little while ago, and that's a replica. This is the real Gemini 6 space capsule that General Tom Stafford from Weatherford, Oklahoma, flew in in December of 1965. This is what he came back in. Yes. This is the the real Gemini 6, two men, he and another guy, uh, spent uh, 24 hours in space, uh, and this was the precursor to the Apollo uh, lunar landing missions, and this was his, uh, Tom Stafford's first flight in space, and I, there's an interesting story about this. And I know you know it, Michael. His mother came to Oklahoma in the land run of 1893 into the Cherokee Strip, or the Cherokee Outlet. She was about eight years old. She came here in the back of a covered wagon. She was still alive in 1965 to see her son fly in space. A woman who came here as an eight-year-old in the back of a covered wagon lived to see her son circle the earth for 24 hours in space. Then later, uh, Tom Stafford was on some of the Apollo missions, and then he flew the uh, Skylab mission. He comes by here, oh, roughly once a month to visit, and uh, he always brings his friends in here so that he can show them his space capsule. But this is the real space capsule. This is not a replica or a model or something like that. Now, how this, long did they stay in that before they were rescued? 24 hours. God, they had to hold a rest. They had, what do you go if you have to use the ladies' room in there? Well, there were no ladies on board. <laughs> and they had, well, they had systems for being able to take care of various things. Really quick, I hate to keep yeah. moving away from you, Michael, but I want to show everybody as much as I can. This is him right here, Thomas Stratford. Is he, and he's a native, right, Michael? He was born in Weatherford, grew up in Weatherford, attended West Point um, during World War II, and then was an Army pilot, transferred to the Air Force when the Air Force was created, and retired as a Major General. There's some history that perhaps you didn't know. Of course, you can go to our website, okcfox.com. Here is the capsule, Liz and Bill, history right here in Oklahoma. Now, doesn't that make you want to come out here? With that, Ray Gables reporting here at the Oklahoma History Center. I'll send it back to you. All right, good deal, Teray. You know, I haven't had the chance to make it out there yet, but I really now, in particular, want to go out there and see some of this stuff hands-on. Yeah, and hey, this weekend, make it a